I think one of the most important lessons to learn is that the more that you bring something individual to the stage, the better the performance. If you think that you're invisible because you're in the corps de ballet and that what you're doing doesn't count for very much, you're wrong. Because every single person on the stage really, really matters. And the corps de ballet is the backbone of most three-act ballets. Without the corps de ballet, you just have pas de deux and solos. So, you, don't, you know, the narrative is gone. The setting is gone. So, starting life as a corps de ballet dancer is the most wonderful introduction to the art form and also to your craft. Because it's only by being in the corps de ballet night after night, you know, at the time when you're thinking, I'd give anything to have a solo or... Am I ever going to get a chance to be out of this line of eight girls or ten girls? But you learn so much from finding a way to establish your confidence, your personality, your imagination, your individuality, so that you don't just feel like you've come out of a sausage machine. You know, you've got to really work very hard to find and believe in your own individual talent. So I think that um, it's, a, it's a natural progression. You then perhaps, in my case, move up the ladder. But I was never only a classical dancer. I was always, I always loved doing character roles. And I remember very early on having the chance to be in a ballet called uh, Hamlet by Robert Helpman. And Robert Helpman was one of the founder members of the Royal Ballet, an Australian. He came to England determined to have a hugely successful career in the theatre. And he did, and he ended up producing musicals and directing plays and being involved with films. But while he was a dancer and while he worked with the Royal Ballet, he was one of the biggest influences on me because he chose me, and I probably was in my early 20s, uh, to play the mother of Hamlet. And the two Hamlets at that time were Antony Dahl and Rudolf Nureyev. And, and, um, and so I was supposed to be able to feel that I could be their mother. Um, and we were all sort of around about the same age. So that was a challenge in itself. But uh, Robert Helpman was so brilliant at um, stimulating your ideas and your imagination and getting you to believe in yourself and believe that you could create a character. And so I think, you know, you, um, you hang on to any little things you get, any little seeds that you know will grow into some wonderful plant in your head and enable you to create these individual characters and... You know, I mean, in the Royal Ballet, even now, while we're getting Sleeping Beauty going, you know, every single person on that stage, whether you're a court lady, whether you're a herald, whether you're, you know, walking on the little pages, the tiny little pages, you know, you'll, you have the opportunity to learn how to behave on that stage, how to contribute to the performance, how to be part of something much bigger than just you.